This video is going to show you how to install Indy and Indy Web on a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 4, an SD card, a case of some kind. This one is um, 3D printed, the, a power supply. First, we will download Raspberry Pi OS Lite from the Raspberry Pi OS website. After it is downloaded, we will unzip it. After unzipping it, we want to put it onto the SD card. So one thing is you have to find which device is your SD card. You could use LSBLK before you put it in the SD card, and then after, and find the disk that is listed once the SD card is in. So then you'll use DD and put the Raspberry Pi OS image on the SD card. After the image is on the SD card, we want to mount just the boot partition and create an empty file named SSH so that SSH starts on boot and we can connect that way. All right, so after we're done with the SD card, you'll want to put it in the Raspberry Pi, hook up a ethernet cable uh, to your network and power it up. After a few minutes, you should be able to connect to it. Uh, first, you could try just SSHing using the Raspberry Pi hostname if your router, router allows it. If that does not work, you can use nmap to try to find the IP address that, it, that your Raspberry Pi has gotten. If that also doesn't work, you could hook a monitor and a keyboard up to your Raspberry Pi and try to see what is going on. Remember that the default password for the Pi user is Raspberry. After you log in, you want to write, run raspy config. In Raspi config, you'll want to change the default user or default password for the Pi user, so not just anyone can log into your device. You, you optionally you could also change the host name. If you do change the host name and you SSH to your device, after a reboot, you will need to use the host name that you set it to. Also in Raspi config, you could change uh, information like your locale and the and you can set your 
uh, Wi-Fi information if you want to be able to connect using Wi-Fi. And also do a few updates. Also, when I'm done with recipe config, I like to just make sure that the system is all updated. So I'll run apt update uh, and apt upgrade. Uh, once in a while you get a mirror that has a problem, so you might need to run it um, a couple more times just to make sure things updated. After the updates are all done, it's a good idea just to reboot so everything's running on running with the latest version. After the reboot, wait a few seconds and then you could connect again. Now we're going to install Indie by using the instructions for Raspberry Pi on the Indie Lib website. Basically, just to copy and paste here. Do you know we do not need to install KSTARS here? We just need Indie, since KSTARS will be on the desktop or laptop that we're using. We're now going to install the ND Web Manager. So you can see that there's some instructions here. 
basically we're going to install it using pip however by default uh, python3 pip is not installed so we need to install that first and then we will install nd web using pip After Indie Web is installed, we want to make sure that it starts up um, when the on boot, and we'll do that using systemd. Indie Web already provides a configuration to do that with systemd. From their GitHub repo, you could look at it and copy paste it onto your Raspberry Pi in the right location as listed in the readme of IndieWeb. You want to change the permission so that only root can write to it, and enable it, and then start it. Just for a test, if you want, you could reboot to make sure that it starts on boot. I'm pretty confident here, so I don't reboot it. After IndieWeb is running, you could verify that's running using PS. You could also, from another computer on the network, see if you could connect to it by going to the IP address on port 8624. Now from a machine that has KSTARS on it, we will start KSTARS and see if we can connect to our Raspberry Pi running in the web. Once KSTARS is running, go to Tools Ecos and we'll want to make a new profile. We'll click on Remote Mode. If you click on scan, it should automatically find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, and you want to make sure that Indie Web Manager is checked. Then you, from selected devices, you could just select whatever is connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and do note that you need to have at least CCD selected. If you don't have a CCD for your test, you could just select sim simulator if you're wanting to test that you can connect to your mount or guider or something like that. So here, just for a quick test, I connected a QHY camera with the, the dust cap on and connected just to see if I could get some any data from it. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Thanks for watching.